so you want to learn some Form 5 and become more powerful than any Jedi. Well, even if you're a slow learner, we will try to help you integrate it into your lightsaber program. But before we get started, if you haven't seen it, make sure to check out our basics video so you're familiar with the number system we use to teach choreography and the styles. I'll have the link in the description below. And as of now, we already have forms one through four out if you want to learn some more styles. If you're new to the channel, we reenact fights, make fan films, and tutorials. So for more content like this, make sure to like and subscribe. Form 5, the way of the crate dragon or the perseverance form. Form 5 is known for its powerful attacks and defense immediately followed by a counter strike. This is a clip from one of our fan films, I'll have the link in the card right here. Before we get started with the fighting, let's talk about the difference between the two disciplines, Xi'en and Jem So. Xi'en is more suited for blaster blocking and Jem Zo is more for blade to blade combat. The difference between Xi'en and Surisu is that Surisu you're just hitting the blaster bolt away from you and Xi'en you're intending to hit the blaster bolt back at the shooter. Let's get started with some stances. Form 5 was developed from the Form 3 practitioners that felt the defensive nature of the form could make the battle go on too long, or potentially you would never even find an opening if your opponent was skilled enough. Form 5 is about creating an opening for yourself and using the force to enhance your strikes. I see a lot of sword experts say that all lightsaber fights should basically be like fencing or makashi, but they never take into account or even mention that the Jedi can use the force to enhance their strikes and they can see flashes of the future during their fight. He can see things before they happen. That's why he appears to have such quick reflexes. Anyway, enough of my rant. So let's talk about a way to look like you're giving those Form 5 powerful strikes, but actually be relatively safe about it. This is an example of what's called the grazing method. Both the attacker and defender need to be aware this is happening when choreographing, as it's more advanced. So instead of hitting it flat like we teach in the basics video and the Form 1 and 2, you're going to be going to the same points but then pulling all the way back through. When your partner does the same with the defense, it will give the impression that you guys are hitting much harder than if you guys were just hitting flat. As always, make sure you practice this slow before you go fast. Slow is smooth and smooth is fast. Let's talk about the parries and counter strikes. So form five is about the parries into a counter strike. So instead of blocking flat, you want to hit your opponent's strike down and then immediately attack. This takes a much more careful timing than blocking flat, so make sure you start slow and get the flow with your partner. Here's a basic form 5 combo. <laughs> Let's start with the advancing side. So you're going to start by parrying the 8 down creating your opening, you're going to attack a 1, then a 2, then an 8, then a hanging parry. You're left open, your opponent finds an opening, but you parry down their 1, attack a 2, attack a 1, then a big powerful force enhanced 8. Let's show that again at half speed for the flow. So parry the 8, Attack a 1, 2, 8, hanging parry, parry down the 1, 2, 1, big powerful 8. Now the retreating side. So you start by attacking an 8, it's going to get parried, then block the 1 inverted, the 2 regular, 8 inverted regular hanging parry. You find an opening, so you're going to try to attack a 1. It's going to get parried down. Then block the 2 inverted. The 1 regular. And then the 8 regular, but it's such a powerful strike, it sends you back. Alright, let's take it at half speed for the flow. So attack an 8, it gets parried. Invert block the 1. Regular block the 2. Invert 8. Hanging parry. Attack a 1, block a 2, block a 1, 
Block an eight, but it's too much and you stumble away. If that's not enough for you, here's a more advanced combo. Here's the advancing side. Start by attacking a hanging parry but it leaves you open, so you're gonna invert block a two, and then go right into a two yourself. You're gonna pull back for a nine. It's gonna get parried. You're gonna use that momentum to attack an eight, then a nine again, then you're left open. You're gonna invert block the one, then attack a hanging parry, then block a six, then attack an 8 and your partner scoots back to avoid the strike. Let's take it at about a half speed for the flow. So attack a hanging parry, invert block a 2, attack a 2, pull back, 9, into an 8, into another 9, your left open, invert block a 1, attack a hanging parry, invert block the 6, and strike an 8 and your partner scoots back. Retreating side. So it starts out with a hanging parry. You see an opening, you're going to attack a 2. Then you're going to block a 2 inverted. Parry the 9. Block an 8. Parry another 9. Then you see another opening, you're going to strike a 1. Then you're going to defend a hanging parry. You're going to go for a 6. Then scoot back because you can't get your blade up in time to block the 8. Let's take it at half speed for the flow. So defend a hanging parry. Attack a 2. Invert block a 2. Parry a 9. Block the 8. Parry another 9, attack a 1, defend a hanging parry, attack a 6, and scoot back to dodge that 8. Here it is at full speed. A lot of work for about 5 seconds of fighting. If you enjoyed today's video, I hope you subscribe and hit that like button. This might be a lot to ask for, but can we get 6,000 likes and we'll make the Form 6 video. Full disclosure, I have a ton of projects on my plate right now, so we might not get to this for a while. In case you guys surprise me and just hit me up with 6,000 likes in like the first day or two. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day sabering and may the force be with you.